Hello, everyone. RPG Kingdom Kid here, back with some more Yakuza Like a Dragon. In the previous video, we did focus mostly on sub stories, and we're gonna keep doing that for this part. And then, hopefully, like I wanna, what I plan to do is I plan to do this sub story and maybe start this sub story, maybe start that sub story, maybe start some of these sub stories around here. But I, I obviously want to like focus on the Ichiban confections as well. So, but I figured doing the sub stories first uh, would be a nice change of pace. Um, obviously, I haven't done anything off screen. Actually, I did. I, I went to go heal up at uh, I believe I ate here or I ate somewhere where nothing would have triggered. So, um, so I plan. Actually, is this all we have? Is just these this little corner here? Is just the things of sub stories and nothing else? Huh. Okay. So if that's the case, maybe I'll just do all these sub stories and possibly do Ichiban confections. Uh, it all depends. Well, let's see. All right, first things first, we gotta do this one, which seems to be like, this will be like a... <laughs> Shit, this is bad. What do we do? Wait, what? Hmm? Hmm? You guys all right? Where's Taka? Oh, no. There was a phone call from Junpei while you were away. From Junpei? Yes, my guess is the Yakuza forced him to call. He was saying they're gonna kill me. Please help. Sound like he was in bad shape, too. You also heard someone say what sound like don't forget the donation in the background. Uh-huh. And where's Taka? Taka son flipped out and took off on his bike. <sighs> Taka's a fool. Kazuka son, at this rate, Taka son and Junpei are gonna get killed. I know we just met, but I don't know who else to turn to. Ah, fuck. I I want this uh, this de definitely would have been a lot different if I just went. But I went to heal first. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. <sighs> I'm ashamed to say it, but if it's just us... I know. Still, there's no need to go butting heads with the Yakuza. Alright, I'm already in this far. Might as well see it to the end. Oh, thank you very much. The Yakuza office where Chupe is being held is west of Central Street. I believe you'll find Takasan's bike there as well. Okay. Alright, time to roll. I'll find the office where Takasan's bike is parked. Or, you know, just do that one. Okay. All right, it's next to a taxi. So how about I start another sub-story? Like, let's start this one down here, since that was actually... All righty. I am really loving this game. I hope I'm able to beat it before the end of the year, because, uh, yeah, I, this game is definitely going to belong out in that top 10 game of the years this year. It for sure deserves to be there, that's for sure. That bug? Oh, it's just beehive. Oh, beehive! I need to make a stop by at the, um, at the weapon shop, too. What's his deal? He seems pretty stressed out. Oh, no, Michi! What's this? This doll's got an orange for a head. Weird. There's a button on it. What happens if I... Oh, shit! It talks? Oh, there's one over there. Get another Michio Kun. Oh, sorry about that. Uh, did he surprise you? Uh, yeah. I guess he kind of <laughs> got me. This little monster yours? Monster? Oh, heavens no. This is the one and only Ono Michio Kun. Oh no, Michio! Michio Kun? What the hell's that? Ono Michio Kun is a mascot created to represent the proud port city of Onomichi in Hiroshima. First introduced in Yakuza 0, uh, Yakuza 6, but then he was also brought in Yakuza Kiwami 2 right. as well. So, uh, and Judgment, of course. This thing represents Onomichi how exactly? <laughs> Surely you're joking. Just look at him. A charming face based on the Hasaku, a specialty of the Setouchi region. A steamy Onomichi ramen hat to add a touch of flair. 
Onomichi ramen is a staple of Onomichi culture, after all. A cute fish pouch to represent the city's wide the variety line of delicious too. seafood. <laughs> cool fishing boots to highlight Onomichi's strong fishing industry. And a trendy shirt with his surname, Ono, in bold. Oh no! He really is the perfect mascot, don't you think? Why, just looking at him brings to mind all that Onomichi has to offer. I don't know about that. <laughs> He's pretty popular as of late. Even this figure here sells out rather quickly. He's the featured product in the Onomichi souvenir section of our new shop here in town. You're selling this in a souvenir shop? Look how detailed he is! Isn't he exquisite? Well, oh, he had to that way, sure. The ramen's got all its toppings, too. Oh, yeah. Didn't this thing talk to me earlier? Yes. A voice plays when you press the button. Observe. Oh, no. Michioda! That sounds like Kiryu's voice actor. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, isn't he great? The way he says Michi sure is cute. <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. I was thinking earlier his voice is actually pretty neat. Yes, well, only the genuine article will speak. The fakes made overseas don't hold a candle to the real ones. Fakes? Yes, uh, like this one. Oh. The Michio Minefield. Oh, yeah. Looking at him side by side, they're definitely different. I'm happy he's become so popular. But popularity means there'll always be those looking to make easy money from shoddy imitations. Oh, yeah. Or obscenely poor quality. Who troubles me to think that these fakes would even attempt to pass as Michio Kun? Hey, this fake's got a button too. Want to try it out? No, wait, please, don't press that. Man, that just makes me want to press it even more. Never tell me not to press a button. Huh? It's not talking. I should press it harder. Mash the button! All right, going all in. Huh? It's a bomb! What the? Well, I guess that explains the name of the sub story. Are you okay? I tried to warn you. Oh no, your hair's all frizzy now. It wasn't before. Anyway, what the hell was that? Well. That explains the name of the sub story, that's for sure. Got it. So the fakes have shitty batteries and might blow up. That's right. It's bad enough that they're fake, but it's even worse that they explode. I've been going around collecting them wherever I see them being sold. But when it came to hauling off the fakes, the box turned out to be a little heavier than I thought, and uh, I sort of tripped. Uh, to make oh. matters worse, the genuine ones got mixed up in there too. Careless handling of these fakes could result in an explosion. So I'm at a bit of a loss here. So you basically at least I got my confidence up. Recently, it's been difficult with my poor eyesight to see the finer details of things, making it even harder to tell the real ones from the fakes. Really? Oh, this is all so troubling. I was just on my way to deliver the genuines to the shop, too. Even if I were to ask for help, I would need to find someone with both decent eyesight and a hairstyle that won't look all crazy after an explosion. Where am I going to find someone like that? Hi. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good luck with that. I'll see you <laughs> later. No, wait just a minute! Oh, come on. God, I'm tight. really pretty anti getting blown up. Oh, don't be such a sour puss. Won't you help me in my time of need? Not many people have frizzy hair, the strength to withstand explosions, and time on their hands like you do. If you get that, yeah, I do. Do you even hear yourself right now? Please. He's the star of our Onomichi souvenir section. 
Each one of these figures is thoughtfully hand-painted and assembled by the people of Onomichi. These are all done by hand? Indeed they are. Wow, that's the actually quite impressive. The of Onomichi do it as a side job, as a way of sharing their beloved city with the rest of Japan. Even the children help put the finishing. Even the on them. children I want to get these Michio Kun figures to as many people as possible, for each one contains the hearts and souls of Onomichi. Can you please help me gather the Michio Kuns? Uh, let me think. Yeah, All I'll right, do it. Sure, I'll help you out. If it's not that, really? it doesn't seem like that. It'll be this long of a sub so That's so nice. Much. Uh, oh. Um, Kazuga. I just realized I haven't asked your name. I'm Kazuga. Ichiban Kazuga. All right, Kazuga-san. Ah, oh, thanks, Avengers. On board. Uh, this way, please. The Spoiler: okay. That's probably what I'm going to play once I'm done with uh, Age of Calamity. Is I'll probably play that. Actually, by the time this video's out, Age of Calamity will probably already be out or done with. <sighs> yeah, this looks like a mess. So. Oh, if only those fakes did exist, this wouldn't have happened. How oh, I hate them so! Sure, sure, I get it. So what can I do to help? Yeah. I need you to collect the real Mo Michis from among the figures scattered around here. The fakes will probably explode if you touch them, which I'm sure is rather painful. Take the real ones, don't touch the fakes. Got it. Hey. That's right, there are seven real figures. Please find them without getting yourself blown up. Collect seven real Mo... Michio Kun figures in among the fakes scattered throughout the plaza. Picking up a fake one will cause it to explode. Leave Kazuga in a world of hurt. If Zixi drops zero, he'll be down for the count. So choose carefully. Active search mode will place you in first person view where you'll be able to use L to look around in R. And move using L and look around with R. Put those detective skills and find the real Mo Michio Kuns. Okay, Kazuga son, it's up to you. Yeah, I, I think I can already tell. So there's only Where seven of them, okay. What's this? Yeah, that's a fake. I can already tell because of the outfit. What's this? What is this? What's this? Hmm. Huh? Alright. Looks okay. Did I bring this one? What is me? this? Well, that's a fake. What's this? Hmm. That's a real one. Hmm. Huh? Fake. What is this? Fake. What's this? What fake. Is this? Fake. Hmm. That's a real What's one. What's this? Hmm. Huh? I think that's three so far. What is this? Hmm. Huh? Four. What's this? What's this? What's this? What's this? Hmm. Five. Huh? What is this? What's this? Hmm? What is this? Hmm? Huh? Six. What's this? Hmm? Hmm? And that's number seven. Huh? <sighs> Looks like that's all of them. Wow, thank you very much. Uh, there's you the costume head the right there. The job. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Glad I could help. But what are you gonna do with all those fakes still lying around? That's gotta be dangerous. Oh, that's okay. I'll have the staff pick them up later. They're all fakes, so there's no need to be careful anymore. Sure, whatever you say. I must say. I was somewhat touched by how passionately you analyzed those Michio Kun figures. Did my passion go up then? You're no longer just Kasuga san. From now on, you're Ichiban Kasuga Michio Master! Michio Master! 
No, I think Kasuga suits me just fine. Oh, come now. Not many could have done what you did. Anyway, there were a lot more fakes than I thought. Once a character gets even the teensiest bit popular, it's not long before the fake goods come rolling out. True. In fact, some fakes are made so exceptionally well that even the professionals can't tell the difference. Damn. Even so, fakes are still fakes. We simply can't let them circulate. It would be inexcusable to those who work so hard to make Michio-kun goods with love, and to the fans as well. Yeah. Right. Buying a cheap knockoff's not going to help Ono Michi or Michio-kun. Indeed. And this isn't just about them. Fill the world with enough fakes, and eventually that which is made with love and care will cease to exist altogether. I don't want honest craftsmen and the fans who appreciate them to ever have to see such a day. Yeah, I feel you there. That's why, as Michio-kun's producer, I vowed to do all I can to fight back against these fakes. Hmm. Well, you're very passionate, sir. Any way I can. <sighs> Thank you. I've been wanting to take down Join my Ichiban Confections business. They've yet to reveal themselves. Or Onimichi can do that. Well, I can't say I blame you. Just stay out of trouble, all right? I know. Why not take this Michio-kun figure as thanks for today? Oh, you sure? Absolutely. Be sure to take good care of him. Hmm? Why is his head all beat up? This costume a fake too? Oh no, quite the contrary. That one there is special. Is it the original? Special? A few years ago, there was a man who put on that very Michio <laughs> yeah. costume back in Onomichi. Kiryu. you. day was what kicked off Michio Kun's rise to stardom. I believe. He's talking about Yakuza 6. Justice and honesty breathed new life into Michio Kun. <laughs> I've been carefully saving that costume there on the chance that one day he'll return and decide to become Michio Kun once again. Several of these costumes have been made, mind you, but that one is special. <laughs> Sounds like you left an impression on you. Hope I can be half as cool as that someday. Ah, <laughs> yo, that cuts deep in more ways than one. Was unique. Anywho, I'll be honest, Kazuga, you you're really already like out of the level of Kiryu in coolness, and you've only had now one I game. To hurry and but then again, Kiryu, everyone the fell in love with Kiryu in his first game soon, too. So. Keep your head up. Yeah, see you around. But Kazuga's more like, I don't want to say genuine, but he's more. Mascots, huh? Feeling Protecting or whatever. these guys is serious business, I guess. Huh? Again? <laughs> oh, wait, what? I didn't really catch that. Oh, well. Yeah, well, it was a nice one. Huh, you didn't join my business. Oh, well. Uh, okay, uh, I suppose let's go for this one, and then, uh... There should be a taxi around here somewhere, so let's just, uh, go over here. Uh, how far away is it? Okay. So. I think I mentioned this in the last video, but god damn it, I really want to play Dragon Quest XI again. And it's, it's actually nice that they uh, br have the definitive edition now. Don't know there's a Chinese place here. What's going on? Sumimasen. This is his apologies. Come on, you two. Sumimasen deshita. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Okay. Did you mess up someone's order? Weird that that part wasn't voiced. No, no, there's no need to apologize. It's easy to mistake salt and sugar. Yeah, not at all. It's girl's mistake. We're very yeah. sorry. Everyone makes mistakes, and if it's any consolation, the rice was still good. Keep at it, you tycoon. I'll see you later. Yes, thank you. I mean, uh, I'm very sorry, miss. Yeah. You idiot. She forgave you because she's a regular. When are you going to learn how to cook? I'm sorry, dad. <sighs> Honestly, I can't leave the restaurant to you like this. Mm. A 
Yeah, Zalan restaurant to his kid. Must be stressful. Maybe I'll keep an eye out next time I come through here. Oh, is this one of those leave and come back ones? That's what it seems like. But let's actually let's step inside. Uh, let's actually, there's no reason for me to step inside when uh, there's no um, reason for me. Hey, there is a taxi right there. So this guy. Yo. Excuse me, but what exactly are you doing here? Mm. Hmm? <laughs> oh, you're pretty stylish. You seem like you could keep a secret. Congratulations, you pass. Mm. I did? Really? Mm. Yep. Go to the stall in the back. There's a hidden door inside. Hidden door to where? <laughs> Why don't you find out yourself? Mm -hmm. Enjoy your time, Mr. Handsome. Thanks. <sighs> Apparently there's something nice beyond the hidden door in the back. I'm curious, so I might as well check it out. Oh, th oh, this is like something that I can do. Okay. My. Oh, is this like the underground casinos or something? Actually, that'd be weird for the stylish ones to get. Actually, that, maybe it's not as weird as I thought it was going to be. Ah, yep, it is underground casino. Okay. Well, there's no reason for me to be here right now, so... Actually, let me just talk to the dude up here first. What surprises you have? Soundtracks, maiden's perfume. Loyal jacket card. I no no no. I'm I'm good. No. Nope. Okay, so this is where I can get some good stuff. Which again, that's something I I should go do and to get the. Oh. Is at some point I should do the. Uh, um. Uh, go and. Well, that dude's back, so how about we go check on that first before we go to the one that's up here. Let's go. Ass kicking time. Ass kicking time. Leave it to me. I got this. Don't get cocky. Hero of Yokohama. Hashion has went up. Oh, can I actually level up a dachi now with this stuff? Last time I came here, my dad was scolding his son. Mao-san, uh, we didn't have to meet up near the restaurant. Hmm? Aw, uh, does she like him? Well, hey, that's the guy who's getting yelled at by his dad. <laughs> You're always working so hard, and besides, I wanted to see you as soon as I could. Now, son, I'm so sorry about last time. I really messed up that rice. Oh, that's all right. It was good for what it was. It was like a dessert. Very innovative. Oh, with the sugar. OK, 
Okay, that's the lady who gave the sugary rice. Fried now, rice. why don't we go to the movies? Oh no, where did I put those tickets? Don't tell me I dropped them. Ah, oh, crap. I'm so sorry. It's all right. We can buy them at the counter. You gave me this lovely little thing, so tonight's on me. Oh. Oh. Hey, you're actually wearing it. Thank you. A ring this cute for a woman in her 40s? <laughs> Does it really suit me? More oh. than anyone else in the world. Honestly, I, I wanted to get you something more expensive. The thought's what matters. But are you sure? I, I'm an old lady, you know. No, son. You're no old lady. Truly, I'm serious when I say I want to marry you. Oh, Yuta-kun. Thank you. So those two are going out. Damn, she's 40-something. Definitely got a few years on him. That guy's old man, right? My Yuta. Getting married? Impossible. Not my Yuta. Huh? <laughs> um, you all right there, dude? Snap out of it. Yo. I'm sorry. Didn't mean to trouble you. Tokuro. The name's Tokuro Tanaka. Tanaka? A Chinese restaurant here in town. Ichiban Kasuga. No worries. I wasn't going to just leave you passed out like that. That's Yuta. So much to learn, and he's out wasting his time with a woman. Come on. He's bound to start seeing people at that age. Why not support him? No. He needs to hone his skills as a chef so he can take up the restaurant. There's no time for him to get caught up in love and whatnot. What's more, she's 40. Damn near old enough to be his mother. Yeah, but age shouldn't really matter, right? Oh, like hell it shouldn't. I don't want him to suffer like I did. Uh -oh. I take it there's a story here? Truth be told, my wife was older than me. She passed away when he was little. Ah, uh, it's tough being left behind. I don't want him to have to experience the same thing. Mm, I get how you true. feel, but you never really know when someone's gonna die, you know? If they really love each other, isn't that enough? Yeah, well, I hear she's been divorced once already. Her life's totally different from Yuta's. That makes There's sense. No way an amateur like him could match up with her. For all we know, she's playing him for a fool. Could You're be. Thinking about this way too hard. Kasuka san, forgive me for roping you into this, but do you think you could find out more for me? Huh? Me? Huh? He's your son, isn't he? Yeah, well, he might not feel like answering me. And I don't see myself handling it too politely either. At least you're honest about it, no man. There's nobody else that I can ask about something this embarrassing. I'll even reward you for your trouble. Sounds pretty complicated, but I don't know if I can just sit back after hearing him out. Yeah, sure. All right, fine. Can't say I'm not curious myself. Oh, I appreciate it. Think you could talk to him next time he's at the restaurant? Yeah, sure. I'll ask him when I'm nearby. I actually kind of like these sub-stories where it's a whole, like, you just leave. Like, you go to the thing and then you leave and then you come back type thing. Uh, I guess technically that one we'll go to next. Don't stop dancing the night up. Take it up. Dance it back. Move your body. Don't stop dancing the night. It's Friday
All right, assholes, let's fight. You're going down. Leave it to me. Break an entry, man. Hot damn. I don't think I even got the guy I was aiming for. Is this some kind of a joke? Black hat wizard? What? Nice Adachi. Oh, oh, I've actually already had that black hat, dude. Okay. Dust detected. Dust detected. Hmm? Huh? What is this thing? <laughs> I never expected Soji to react to people. It would appear your clothes are dirty. Prepare to suck. Clothes are dirty? Kind of rude to bust that out on a stranger. But speaking of clothes, what's up with your coat? Hmm. Ah, my apologies. I'm Professor Okita, creator of Soji. Ah, oh, now I get it. What is this Soji thing you keep talking about? <coughs> what? Are you telling me, you shrubbed haired young man, that no. you don't know what Soji is? Never heard of it. Suji? You're a highly popular household clean robot that sold 5 million units and counting? Oh. No. Like I said, never heard of it. What? You think there are still souls across our great land that has never heard of Suji? You either been living on a rock or behind bars. Yeah. <sighs> but back it up. Did you say that this thing's a household clean robot? I didn't even know those things, those were a thing. We live in the golden age of atomic vacuum cleaners. With just the push of a button, Soji will make your home sparkle and shine. Wow. This little tin can? Hard to imagine, but that sounds amazing. <laughs> oh, 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 indeed. It's received nationwide recognition. In fact, I'm currently in the planning phase of a new Soji model that's been requested by the state. What for, you ask? Why, this new model will clean whole cities. Whole cities? With this little thing? No, no, no. Cleaning the entire city of Yokohama at this size would be far too in ineffective. As such, the new Soji Ball is planned to be 4 meters in length, with 1.5 meters in height, and employ the suction force five times that of the current model. Huh? So that big's gonna be running around the city? Wanna, like, scare kids? Ho, <laughs> oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, hardly. I'll be implementing some additional features to ensure it becomes nothing sort of Yokohama's friendly neighborhood Soji. Right. Mm. However, government subsidies alone isn't enough to cover the cost. I'm currently trying to raise funds from various organizations, but it's been somewhat of a struggle. Wow. Huh. I guess building state of the art robots ain't cheap. Well, I gotta say, I won't mind seeing this place get cleaned up. How much more do you need to, for development? Hmm. Let's see now. Taking my personal funds into account, I'd wager a million yen would cover it. A million? That's no small chunk of change. Are you offering anything to people who pitch in? Certainly! If you invest your funds and this project deals profits as planned, you'll receive a healthy div dividend. It'll also give you access to rent a new Soji model at your leisure. So, how does that sound? Mm. Well, let me think. I'll see what I can give if I ever have anything to spare. Arigato, no oh, job. sir, young shrub. No, Lord Shrub, I thank you. Yeah. I'm sure I'll be a lot of hard work, but good luck with the robot. You have my thanks. Anyhow, see you next time. Okay, so there are two sub-stories that require a million yen for me, so that's gonna be fun. Fund! Ah-ha-ha! Ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha! Ah, kill me. Uh, actually, that actually left me in a good spot, so I'll go over here. I'll do that one up there, then we'll go back to the restaurant and see how that goes. This is a nice way to avoid people. 
Also, I figured there'd be something up here, and I knew it was the Togo Clan Crest. Actually, I should probably go to the hotel since it's around here, right? Just want to make sure that there's no other sub stories around. Honestly, Ayami Kun, you can't do anything without your senpai. What kind of tour guide goes the wrong way? Tour guide? Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, who is that? Is that Cassandra Lee Morris? What's going on over there? I have to hear her voice again. Tour guide turmoil. I don't know if you're nervous or what, but trouble our customers like that again and you're fired! This next one is your last chance. Make sure you know your stuff! Uh, if I get fired in front of my parents, my life will be totally ruined. No, that's not Cassandra Lee Morris, but I do like her voice. Hey, I noticed you were pretty down over here. You alright? Huh? That guy was yelling at you pretty loud, so I got kind of worried. Oh, you saw me get scolded by my boss, huh? Oh, how embarrassing. And he said something about you being a guide? Yes, I'm a tour guide with Chinatown Tours. I just recently moved to the city, but I have severe performance anxiety, and, well, I'm always messing up. Ah, her voice does something All the other that new I girls can't are really doing quite really catch well it. While I'm out here making a total fool of myself. My senpai's usually around to help me, but she was out sick today. I tried doing it by myself, but it was a total disaster. Oh, so that's why your boss was yelling at you. Yes. And if I mess up again, I might lose my job. That's rough. That's and rough, that's buddy. That's not the only thing. My parents are going to be at my next one. They wanted to see me shine, so they flew all the way out here. And you don't want to look bad in front of your parents. No. That definitely adds some pressure. That's why I have to do well on this next one. But I don't have a lot of time. It's just going to be another train wreck without my senpai's help. What should I do? I'll help, yeah, even though I don't know the city that well. There's got to be something you can do. I know this is sudden. But I have something I need to ask you. What's that? Would you be willing to help me in my next Chinatown tour? Uh, me? Yeah. I know I'm being unreasonable, but do you think you could? Just having someone around would be a big help. You're asking me for help like I'm some kind of Chinatown expert. I'm kind of not. I'll be informing everyone about each stop we visit on the tour. I just need you to chime in any time I get nervous and clam up. Uh, You're the only person I can turn to at this point. Okay. Won't you please help? And of course, I'll make sure you're rewarded too. It's not like there's anyone else you can ask. What should I do? All I accept. Right, fine. I'll sure as hell try. Oh, thank you, mister. I know we've only just met, but I'm incredibly grateful for how kind you've been. My name is Ayami Ishida. Nice to I meet am you, Ishida. Ishida. I'm Kasuga. Kasuga-san, pleased to meet you. Okay, let me fill you in on the places we'll be visiting. I'll simulate the tour with these pictures, so let me know if you have any questions. Yeah, sure thing. Thank you again. Okay, first, take a look at this picture. Take a look. It's in a book. This here is the entrance to Chinatown. Okay, yeah, the sh yeah. This magnificent gate is called the Pai Fong. And it's a staple of traditional Chinese architecture. Pai Fong. Pai Fong, huh? That's a first for me. It's said that a red dragon lies within the Pai Fong, acting as its guardian. Red dragon he Pai Fong. watches over Chinatown from the gate, ensuring there's peace in the community. A red dragon, huh? Well, that's perfect for Chinatown. Chinatowns are often associated with the color red, too. Okay. Next, I'll explain red. the stalls that line the street. Even in Chinatown, the street is lined with many well-known stores. And in our tour, we'll be going to the meat bun shop with the blue sign. Blue there sign. Yes, I'm writing Known this stuff down. Ultra packed super bun. Ultra packed super buns. For 
Pretty fancy. The meat bun is so incredibly large, it's nearly the same size as a soccer ball. Soccer ball. Ball. You should give it a try sometime, Kasuga-san. Okay, on to the next place. This will be the final stop on the tour. Okay, I figured it'd be this is like either three or four. Swine lay tain. It's said to be the god that presides over all the food in Chinatown. Food god. Swine Latong? It's called Swine Latong because it's a play on both Swan Latong, Chinese hot and sour soup, and the poor. Uh, hot and sour soup and pork. Pork often used in the recipe. Wow, that's okay. uh, unique. There's a very interesting legend regarding this adorable swine latong. Rub the swine latong's right ear four times before you leave Chinatown, and you'll encounter. Right ear four times. Your delicious food wherever you go. Rub its right ear four times. Am I supposed to be taking notes? The paint is starting to chip on its right ear, so use that to help you remember. Okay. okay. I'm going to try my best it. not to look at my notes, Thank but you. I okay, took the notes just to be safe because I want to do this tough. as best as I can. But it sounds like you've got it all down, Ayami. Mm, well, when it's the real thing, I worry too much about messing up, and oh, my mind sort of goes blank. Still, I want to show my parents that I can stand on my own two feet, so I'll do my best. Yeah, you can do I it, have girl. I things to do before the tour, so I'll be waiting in front of the Tayo Gate on Chinatown Way. All right, I'll see you later. Okay, so I believe that's her right there. Yeah, let's go there. Actually, and there's another taxi right there. Perfect. Oh, this is the airport. Or if I was an airport. I thought I saw an airplane. So this guy. Okay, she was down. All right. So the next turn. Actually. See if I can help that dude out too. Did he just say straight out of paper? me oh right my bad sorry we'll get out of here huh so this is what it looks like guess there aren't as many stalls i mean it is the men's room nothing worse than when all the stalls are taken up and you're standing there about to piss or shit yourself feels like an eternity sometimes yeah, first guy to open up a stall is basically a messiah <laughs> never would have taken you for the religious type okay yeah dachi needs to be leveled up Oh god, it's a bag up here! Oh, shit. Okay, I'll, I'll definitely need to like, get some pocket tissues or something. That's kind of like a play on the one sub story in Yakuza. Was it Zero? It was either Yakuza Zero or Kiwami. Great walkathon! Hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me. Son, I'm counting on you for today's tour. Are you ready to go? All right, let's go. Now let's head over to the meeting spot.
There's her parents. Hello, everyone. Thank you for p participating in the uh, the Chinatown tour. Ah, oh no, 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 no. <sighs> Off to a great start. <laughs> <laughs> this is a new girl? You gotta be all right, miss. Don't worry, folks. You're all gonna be in great hands today. Hey. Keep it together, Ayame. I'm and Pop are watching. R right, I need to pull myself together. My apologies. Okay, I'm your tour guide for today. Amane Ishad. You should have Chinatown tours. And this here's my assistant for the day. His name is K -K Kazu. Uh, Katsu Don san. That's uh, Kazuga. That's your service. Happy to be here. <sighs> Man, Amane's already a wreck. Nothing we can do there. Let's keep going. She's adorable! I love all the sub-stories of this game. Of this series. Hi. Right, here we are. This gate marks the entrance to Chinatown. <sighs> what a beautiful gate. Right, here we are. This gate marks the entrance to Chinatown. Yo. Hey, you just said that. <laughs> <laughs> Is this a comedy bit? Uh, uh, my apologies. This magnificent gate is called a five, a five fane. It's a sample of tra tra traditional Japanese architecture. As it has it, a guardian lies within. The guardian is, it's uh, a red dragon. Red dragon. Oh dear, I hope our little girl's all right. That didn't take long. Oh my god, I love this. <sighs> Alright, guess I'll lend her a hand. The guardian animal was a red dragon. Yeah. The gate's guarded by a red dragon. Huh? That's right. This gate's guardian is a red dragon. The dragon is said to watch over everyone right here from this gate. <laughs> wow, a red dragon. That's super fitting for Chinatown. Maybe I should get a picture. Oh, my phone! Good, good. Okay, let's head to the next spot. There you <sighs> go. Then I was able to help. Yeah, passion! Ooh, I could get to level 5 if everything goes up with passion. I, I wonder if, like, you get actual stuff, other stuff popping up or what. Okay, so, um, even here in Santabori, the street is lined with many well-known stores. Go. Psst, Chinatown. Huh? Yes, I meant to say this street is lined with a lot of great stores, just like Santabori. And speaking of which, who's hungry? Well, that one I've harassed, didn't she? One place I personally recommend is that meat bun shop over there. Blue sign. Wow, smells great. There's a lot of meat bun shops here. Sorry, which one is it? Oh, well, um, it's the... Oh, is she going to do her little dance again? Yeah! <laughs> She's going to pay in the ass. Blue sign. Yeah. It's the one with the blue sign. I'm pretty hungry, too. So why don't we head that way? Great, I'm starving. What sort of meat buns do they have at this place? You'll be surprised when you get there. Now, let's keep going. <laughs> Oh, I'm so excited. Maybe they'll have a chill shrimp bun. Chili shrimp bun. Hallie's <laughs> doing a great job, isn't she, dear? Hi. Indeed. So, yeah, my mom and dad are happy. Oh, sweet. So, other stuff comes up. Sweet. Intellect went up. I definitely need to do more of those, um, 
quiz things. But I think those are better suited to do stuff on off screen for. Uh, maybe, you know, maybe uh, I'll do a couple either in this part or the next part. Mm, what a great smell. This place currently has a new meat bun called the, uh, uh was it Hyper? Miraculous? Uh oh. Um, oh no. Come on, Amane. What was the name of the meat bun? The Ultra Pact. Yes, Ultra Pact. The big thing right now is the newly released Ultra Pack Super Bun. The most surprising thing about the Ultra Pack Bun is its size. It's as big as a soccer ball. This meat bun is sure to please even the biggest appetites. Hope everyone will give it a try. Dude, I love a meat bun. Isn't that amazing? We should post about this on Instagram. <gasps> Good call. People are going to love this. Ooh, style went up. I think Styles might have the thing I have. Ew. Looks like that went well. I'll double check that once uh once I'm able to. We finally arrive at the last stop of our tour. This is the newest addition to Town, Town, the Swine Lane Town. Mm -hmm. Swine Lane Town? This little piggy gets its name based on Chinese this Swoon Lane Ton, uh, or Hot and Sour Soup. Swoon Lane Ton, I get it. <laughs> Funny name, but it's cute. Swoon Lane Ton may look similar to the Mako Neko, but it's said to be the god of food here in Chinatown. And, um, oh no, there's supposed to be some sort of thing you do. Um, rub its right ear four times. The chip paint on the right ear. Huh? Oh, right. There's a saying that if you rub the swine tain lawn's right ear four times, you'll encounter delicious food no matter where you go. Eh? Well, I want to rub it. Let's get a picture. Would you like me to take a picture? Yes, please. Oh, I didn't even have to do anything for this one. <sighs> oh, dang. You're doing great. <laughs> Indeed. I'm so proud. I could cry. I'm sorry. Ugh. Hey, jerk off. Look what you did. You went and dirtied my 500 grand suit. Nakasan, are you okay? Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh no. Miss, please help. Got bone to pick with you. Uh, what should I do? Nakasan's in trouble. Maybe scared, but I can't panic. I have to be strong and protect my customers. You even burned me with that hot tea there. Uh, huh? This milk tea's been cold for a while now. Uh, Shut your yap. If I say I got burnt, then damn it, I got burnt. Mate. Look, if you're going to hit someone, hit me. It's my job to make sure my customers are safe. Oh, miss. Gonna need 500 grand for my suit and another 500 for my injuries. That's a cool mill in total. Your company can cover that right, girly. And in that case, I think we'll need to discuss the matter with our lawyers. Oh? Yeah. Well, how about that? Little girl's got some balls. <gasps> oh, money. Here. Hey. Back off. I'm the lawyer here. Huh? Who the fuck are you? I'm the tour guide's guide. My job is to steer the tour around the trash. And what do you know? It looks like we've got some right in front of us. It's quite a sight. Aw, oh, she's <laughs> adorable. <laughs> Big talk. Your little hero routine just raised the bill at two mil. Yeah, but it's all gonna go away when I beat your fucking ass. <laughs> Threatening man. Bum, 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 bum. No, 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 not rolling kick. Flying crank. Cool. Check this out. I'm sure you can I'll take your heart. I'll take your heart. Uh, you what level am I at? 23, and we took down a level 24 dude in two hits. Well, yeah. Oh shit! Now my suit's all dirty. I might charge you two mil, and we can call it even. I'm so sorry! Thank 
Kazuka-san, thank you very much. No. No, don't mention it. I was close to Naka-san, but everything's okay now. Thank you, you really saved me! No, no, I'm just glad you're okay. <laughs> Alright, everyone. I'll take you to the end of the tour. Voiced bit now? Ooh. Thank you for joining us on our tour today. I'm sure there are a few times I made a mistake or two. And for that, I apologize. You made no mistakes, no, girl. No, no. It was a lot of fun going around Chinatown like that. Thank you. That big bully guy was really scary. But you were so cool. You didn't flinch one bit. Oh, no. I squeaked like a mouse. I was super scared. <laughs> You're funny, miss. Oh, miss. What was the name of that pig we saw at the end? The Swine Latong. It's a new specialty here in Chinatown. They say you'll be blessed with delicious food after rubbing its ear. That's right, Swine Latong. That thing's so cute. I want to get a phone strap or something. If you're looking for those, they sell them at the shop near the entrance, so by all means, please stop by. Thank you so much. Do you feel like you got any better at guiding people today, miss? Actually, you know what? I'm not nervous anymore. Yay! Hey, that's great. We did it! While well, you stand up to that gangsta style well, thank trash. You everyone. That's it for the tour. Yeah, thank you. Bye. To Kasuka san, thank you so much for today. Kasuka san, you really know how to fight. Wow, well, that's pretty much all I'm good at. <laughs> but forgive me. Great job standing up to that gorilla, Ayami. I was really scared at first. But when I thought about protecting my customers, I didn't feel so afraid anymore. Right? Dependable? Cool? And most importantly, able to create the best memory for all the customers. That's why I came here. That's the kind of tour guide I want to be. That's really great. I'd say you were four for four on that, Ayami. The tour customers looked like they were having a lot of fun, and your dad and mom were both impressed too. You think so? Oh, I'm so glad. It's really all thanks to you, Kasuka-san. It's because you worked hard, Ayami. You've got some great parents. <laughs> well, I'm going out with them tonight, so I'll be sure to treat them well. Oh, right. I'd like you to have this, Kasuka-san. A fancy microphone. I wonder if that's better than my uh, Seesaw ice cream. All right, then. I hope to see you again sometime. <sighs> okay. Time to head back. Um, excuse me. Huh? Sorry to bother you. I'm Ayami's mother. And I'm Ayami's father. Thank you so much for helping her today. No, I didn't do anything that special. Ayami worked hard because she knew you guys were coming. Well, that girl can be a little scatterbrained sometimes, but she does her best to be a good daughter. We were worried that all she might do was try to please us and that her performance would suffer because of it. That being said, we were very much relieved to see how well she did today. I never knew Ayami was so strong, nor that she could make others smile like that. My husband even cried he was so moved. Oh, come on. That's beside the point. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure she'll be an even better tour guide from now on. Yeah. Every parent has to let their child fly solo at some point. And it helps that there's great guys like Kasuka-san out there, too. And just what is your relationship to our sweet Ayami, exactly? Hmm? Oh, please, ah. dear. Right, that was rude of me. Kasuga-kun, was it? We'd like you to have this. A technique booster. I hope you'll be there for Ayami if she ever needs you again. <sighs> Good to see a family that's looking out for each other like that. Keep up the good work, Ayami. Boom, 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 boom,
Hey, sweet, that's awesome. We can hire her. Oh my god, I definitely need to hire. Yeah, okay. Um, where? Uh, actually. Uh, how many of these have I done so far? I've done a total of 26. Oh, there's another new one. So this is one I can't do until I get to... Uh, night time. Uh, nope, that one is the fancy microphone is not as good as the ice cream. Gear. I just want to check your stats. Yep, style and kindness are my max, and I definitely need to work on my whatever those other two one. The charisma and the. Uh, it's not intellect. Uh, is that knowledge? Confidence. Oh, okay. So, so five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so ten is the highest level. Okay. Alright, no big deal. Okay, so... Oh, I could probably... Yeah, let's do this thing up here since it's right there. It's been a quiet day. Where's the dead bodyguard? Time to hustle! Time to hustle. Let's I'll show you. Here goes. I got you. Come on now. I'm a real Here we go. Try this on. You sure you want to get hurt? This is my best. I'm up! You're gonna get stomped. You're gonna get stomped. Right. I have secrets too. Don't get caught. Ah. Cool. Check this out. I'll take you your sure heart. You can me? Huh? Oh yeah? Oh. Come on, Nina. Right. He's off. Let's go. He was a skater boy, she said see you later boy, she wasn't good enough for him. I know those are the wrong words, but still. Holy crap, that was smooth! With finesse! New quest is now available. Well, I mean, we're kind of close by it, so I guess we could do it. Let's do this one quickly. Although I really wanted to do the freaking... Um... Oh, I can do a bug delivery thing. Okay, that's cool. Uh, I'm not really close to anyone with that. But that's no problem. I'll do this. As much as I want to do the Ichiban Confections. And in all honesty, I also wanted to do the finish that one other sub story. I think I'll have to end it here uh, after I do this. Actually, you know what? No, let's do that one sub. Let's I can do the one sub story with the one dude. Time to clean up. At the restaurant. I could do that. Let's go. That's close to taxi. And I could take the taxi to the Central Street one. I got this. Sure, show P. Sure, show P. I got this. Oh, it's not. Don't 
Don't get cocky. Come on now. You're gonna be in a world. Right I'm a real heartbreaker. Okay, here we go. Sure. Sure. You're in it now. Sure show. He sure yeah. show. He sure show. I'm up. I'm up. I'm not backing down. You sure you want to be hurt? Come on. Right. Hot damn, that did a lot of damage. Cool. Cool. Actually, I have to look at um Kazuga's skills. I think he has more skills than he had before, even though I don't think he got level up or anything like that, so. I wouldn't underestimate me. I'm up! Let's go! Did he come out? Sure you beat me? Stop. Get alive. You sure you want to get hurt? I'm not backing down. I got this. Hmm. We'll fight to the end. Slice ya. With finesse. With finesse. I feel like I should have gave me more money. Okay, uh, I'll. Oh, there's one right there. Shit. Okay, uh, you know what? I'll start that sub story. And then I'll take... I guess I could take a taxi all the way there, or I could just run straight there, down there. Yeah, let's do that. Sure, show B. Sure, show B. Damn it. <sighs> Freaking pompadorks. You're gonna be in a world of Check this out. You can beat me. Take your best shot. I don't know about this. I got to go. Let's go. I got this. I wouldn't have me. Guys, we got follow up. Nice. Cool. All right, so just straight down. Oh, it's the Onomichi dude again. Oh, he's the fake one, though. Oh, I guess they're already selling those Michio-kun figures. Looks like rounding them all up was worth it. <laughs> Hold up, that's not Ono Michio. This is a goddamn Ono Michi hoax. Folks, no Michio. Look. Isn't he cute? Onomichio is all the rage in class. Hey, doesn't Michio-kun have Onomichi ramen on his head? This is udon, isn't it? 
Udon ramen, what's the difference, Michi? Just get out your Michi money. Son of a that's fucked up. Hironaka needs to hear about this right now. Yes, Hironaka speaking. Yo, it's me, Kasuga. Oh, it's Michio Master Kakuga-san. Thank you for the other day. Is something the matter? Yeah, when I get Actually, your number... yeah. I just found a guy selling fake Michio merch on the street. What? Did you really? Yeah. He's over by the Taiyo Gate in Chinatown. He's selling knockoffs in a fake Michio costume. A fake costume, you say? Understood. I'll be there as soon as I get ready. He's going to dress up his own Omichi, isn't he? Get ready. Get ready. Weird. <laughs> I guess I should keep an eye on this clown until Hiro Naka shows up. He's going to dress up as him. Man, that costume's terrible. I'm lazy as hell. Zero respects for the real thing. So hey, is the fruit on your head an orange? Huh? Uh, yeah. It's more or less an orange, Michi! No, it's not. Michi says a charming Hasaku. I hate the way this guy's ending his sentences. It's Michi, jackass. <laughs> it's Michio-kun! Michio-kun, Michio-kun! That's it. Janet, kid, I'm busy here. You're in the way. Get lost! Hey! <laughs> Michio could hit me! Come on, come on! Take a look at my wares, Michi! I've got rare Michio figures for cheap, Michi! That son of a bitch. Pulling crap like that and calling himself Michio. I can't take this shit anymore. I'm taking this jerk down a peg. Wait, Kasuga-san. Hey, Hironaka. That guy just hit a kid at... Oh, shit! Oh, shit! You are Hironaka, right? I am Hironaka, but I am also not Hironaka. I am Ono Michio, brought to life by my rage for this nefarious imposter. He not only sells fake Michio-kun figures, but he misuses Michio-kun's precious name and makes children cry. Unforgivable! As Michio's producer, I will become the true Ono Michio and bring this swindler to justice! Hey, that costume looks kind of loose on you. You sure it's your size? Uh, it just means I'll have to fill the empty space with my love for No, Michio. you're just gonna have me wear it, aren't you? <laughs> Here I go! Gonna be all right. I should probably stick around and make sure. <laughs> huh? Michio-kun? Excuse me. I'd like to buy a figure, please. Thank you, Michi. That'll be two thousand yen, Michi. Excuse me, Miss Michi, but you shouldn't be buying a fake Michio-kun from someone like him. Oh no, Michi! Two Michio coots? He's not Ono Michio, he's Phony Michio! Huh? Who the hell are you? Ask me for my name and I'll give it to you, Michi. With my charming Hasaku face, steamy Ono Michi ramen hat, cute fish pouch, cute fish pouch, cool boots, vital for any fisherman. And my bold and trendy Ono shirt. That's right. I'm the pride of Ono Michi. Ono Michi. Oh. oh. Cease this greedy business and take your fake Michi merch with you. Uh. Huh? What do you want about? The real Ono Michi would never show his face here. Uh. Huh? You're costing me business. Hey guys, get rid of this asshole. Oh shit. Is he gonna be okay? 
Oh, um, uh, just a meaty moment here. Why don't we have a debate instead? I once got fourth place in a competition in Onomichi. Like we'd waste our time with that shit. Get the hell out of here with that crummy outfit! Uh, wait! Ow! Oh, oh no! Stop! Oh no! Hiyonaka! Uh, uh, uh. Hey! You all right? Stay with me. Here I have to put the costume on. You went through all that just to protect Michio's reputation. Man, that suit was hanging off you. I'm sure that didn't help. <laughs> you look pretty cool marching over there like that. Do it, Kazuga. Just leave the rest to me. I'll protect you and the people of Onomichi. Put the costume on, Kazuga. Yeah! What the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> Come to get your ass beat again? No, actually. I'm here to take your business Ono Michi out. What's that? You scam people with fake merch. You make kids cry. And you don't know a damn thing about Michio. I'd say it's about time someone taught you a lesson. <laughs> oh, that's rich coming from a guy who just got the shit kicked out of him. This shit is easy money, and it's working. So we aren't stopping until it dries out. You're the worst. You're just some dopey mascot trying to play the hero, but you're gonna wish you hadn't. Guess we're past talking then. I might be just a dopey mascot, but I'm not dopey enough to let you soil the good name of Onomichi. <laughs> Keep talking. All right, boys. Hey, let's murder somebody. Let's yeah. murder someone. Oh no, Michi Imposter. You guys are at high levels, so I definitely need to have. Oh my god, that guy is fucking paper! That's not who I wanted to hit. Oh, he's dead anyway. Let's go. You're gonna be in a war. Ah, you're in it now. Let's see. I've gotta try. I have secrets too. Healing vibrations. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Try this on your side. Yes, I know it's a massager. You serious right now? I'm not that. You serious right now? This is bad. You want to go? Good luck next time. Damn, that's a lot of muns. We almost got a rank up too, so that's good. Uh, what the hell? How how are you so strong? Because in the end, you guys are all just fake. I'm strong because I got You're the ups and faker. downs of Onomichi on my side. Without that, you'll never beat me, no matter how many times you try. So go. Ooh. If you know anyone else making fakes like this, tell them they better stop. Tell them if they keep this shit up, Ono Michio 
is gonna suit up and oh no beat you. Beat you all, all of you. you. Ah, whatever you say, man. I'm sorry. Ah, whatever you say, man. I'm a pussy Yonaka. ass bitch. Yonaka, you okay? Yes. Uh, I'll be all right. Uh, more importantly, please take care of them, Ichio kun. Them? Oh. Okay. Uh, oh. Oh no. Ichio knew he could take those punks down, guys. Uh, wow. Ichio kun beat the fake. Huh? Yeah, I've heard about this before. Michio Kun once took down a gang of neighborhood punks. Yeah. Incredible. I bet he let himself get beat that first time so he could trick those guys into lowering their guard. Yeah. Um, Michio Kun? Huh? Thanks for coming to see if I was okay. That made me really happy. <laughs> oh, yeah? So, um, your special pose. Could you do it again? Oh, I want to see it too. I didn't really get to see it last time. <laughs> Me too. Yeah. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. Here I go. Look out now. With my charming Hasaku face, steamy Onomichi ramen hat. Onomichi ramen hat. Cute fish pouch. Cool boots, vital for any fisherman. And my bold and trendy Ono shirt. That's right. I'm the pride of Onomichi! Oh no? Michio! Yay! Michio kun! You're the best! Oh, thank you very much for helping me out. I feel so relieved to see those fakers put in their place. Even the people of this city were on board with buying the merch from the official shop, too. From the bottom of my heart, thank you. Death Boombox. Really? Hey, good to hear. You took a pretty good beating back there. You all right? Yes, I'm fine. It'll take a lot more than that to put me down. Now, that said, uh, I don't think that faker is the last of them. If we let them run wild, I'm sure another one will pop up somewhere else. That's why I'm going to keep fighting these fakers. My love for Michio Kun is stronger than anything they could ever throw at me. <laughs> Damn straight. By the way, how long do I have to keep wearing this thing? I'm sweating my ass off in here. Please, just a, a bit longer. Oh, we're here. Hey, this is a souvenir shop. Why'd we come here? Actually, they've kindly allowed us to sell Onomichi merchandise here. I figured since you were already wearing the costume, I'd take a picture of Michio-kun here and post it on the blog. Oh, so you're using me, huh? You sneaky bastard. Oh, <laughs> well. I appreciate your being so understanding. Thank you for everything. And with that, I'm off to update the blog. <laughs> Until we meet again, Kasuga-san. Yeah, good luck. Jeez, guess that's that. Huh? Wait, what do I do about this costume? <laughs> He's an SR. God damn. I guess it's. Oh no, Michi's a pound mate! Hells yeah. Okay, that went a little longer than I wanted it to, but I think this is probably a good time to end the video here, guys. So, I'm gonna make my way down to that sub story, but I'm not gonna do it until the next part. So, I know I wanted to do Ichiban's confections in this part, but I'll, I'll probably save that for the next part. Uh, if anything, hope what I'm playing is. Doing this sub story, 
And then that sub story, and then Ichiban's confections. And then we'll see. Maybe I could do the next bit of the story. We'll see. But anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching this video. Guys, if you like the video, please give that like button and click. Comment down below what you like about the video, didn't like about the video. And let me know what you guys think about. Oh, well, if you guys have played Yakuza 6, which if you haven't, uh, please do. But of course, you should actually play all the Yakuza games. It's just because they're all fun and amazing. But the Onomichi sub story is awesome. That's where he was introduced. Technically, he was in Yakuza 6. But yeah, let me know what you guys feel about the Onomichi uh, sub story. It was fun. It was basically it was fun, just like the one in uh, Judgment was too. So yeah. And as always, guys, hit the subscribe button so you know what to beat. And subscribe to our main channel too. That's in the description below. As well as follow me on Twitter, both my main Twitter, RBG, Kim Kid Twitter are in there too. I want to thank you all so much for watching once again. And I'll see you all next time.